sunflower an important oil seed crop in karnataka state is suitable to cultivate in all three seasons in a year it is a crop which gives more profit in a short time with less expenditure sunflower having capability to withstand adverse weather conditions can be cultivated from semi rain fed to completely rain fed situations due to all these reasons the sunflower stands first among all oil seeds in the crop area in the state sunflower seeds contain 40 to 42% of quality edible oil content with less cholesterol because of which the sunflower oil is very famous nowadays sunflower is being cultivated in different districts of the state mainly in vijayapur bagalkot raichur ballari kalburgi koppala chitradurga tumukuru chikkabellapura and kolara University of Agricultural Sciences Bengaluru is a pioneer institute in the country in hybrid development and for the first time in the whole country the university has released first sunflower hybrid BSH1 at the national level later high yielding hybrids such as KBSH1 KBSH44 during 2002 at national level and improved hybrids like KBSH 41 KBSH 42 during 2001 and KBSH 53 during 2008 were released at the state level so our agriculture university us bangalore as you know way back 1964 it was started till now we have produced about 200 uh, varieties of uh, the you know crop varieties which include cereals pulses oil seeds some of the vegetables and also some of the commercial crops we are first in the hybrid seed productions of you know hybrid production of uh, the development of hybrids uh, with respect to the sunflower so last year we have produced the kbsh 78 which has been uh, produced through farmers participatory in, in case of chikkabellapura district by involving the farmers and uh, that seed is being distributed to the farmers of the karnataka other states and also we are exporting the seeds to the uganda so none of the african country so that is how we are promoting and giving the quality seeds and the high yielding varieties and the hybrids to the farming community timely because of our nsp mandate and the objective is that so that we are doing at university of agricultural sciences bangalore all india coordinated research project on sunflower was initiated during 1972 uh, from these uh, sunflower hybrids uh, under rain fed conditions a farmer can uh, harvest 10 to 12 quintals per hectare and under irrigated condition he can harvest 20 to 25 quintals uh, of uh, uh, seed so that he can uh, get uh, nearly uh, 5 to 10000 rupees uh, extra income uh, over uh, uh, normal uh, uh, hybrids the mandate of national seed project is to produce and supply breeder seeds however foundation and certified seed production is being organized to a small extent as per the seed roll plan targets of the department of agriculture certified seed production is being organized under seed village concept under scientist farmers participatory approach clusters of villages with supportive irrigation facility would be identified and the farmers are given the technical know-how of the seed production program after successful raising of the crop field days are organized 
to create awareness about the new technology. Similarly, seed days and workshops are organized to distribute new variety of seeds to promote the technology developed by the university. Foundation seed and certified seed production technologies are available for the farmers engaged in sunflower seed production. Certified seeds are supplied to the farmers for commercial scale cultivation of sunflower. To obtain these seeds, four scientific methods are being followed. Nucleus seed production, breeder seed production, foundation seed production and certified seed production. The main objective of all these methods is to maintain purity of male and female parental lines for quality hybrid seed production. The nucleus seed is produced in small scale by following actual scientific procedures under the supervision of breeders who developed the variety or hybrid. Thus obtained nuclear seed is used for the production of breeder seed. From breeder seed, foundation seed followed by certified seed would be produced. Techniques followed in seed production Sowing period Even though in Karnataka, sunflower is grown in all seasons, the sowing season is decided depending upon the weather and rainfall parameters of that location. The crop is sown in June-July during monsoon and in December-January for the summer. The quality and higher yield is usually obtained from summer and robbie crops. Soil Selection Sunflower is grown in all types of soil, even then, well-drained, fertile, red, sandy and black soils are usually preferred. Minimum Isolation Distance Between Seed Production Plots a minimum isolation distance of 600 to 1000 meters should be there from one seed production plot to another. Time interval Flowering time interval Keeping in mind the difference in flowering time of the parental lines used in seed production, staggered sowing is followed as per the recommendations to maintain the genetic purity. Nutrient management Balanced nutrient management is a must for a healthy crop. Before 2 to 3 weeks of sowing, 2.5 to 3 tons per acre of farm yard manure or compost is added to the soil. Recommended fertilizers 24, 36, 24 kg of nitrogen, phosphorus and potash are applied in rows at the rate of 50% of nitrogen and full dose of phosphorus and potash as basal dose at the time of sowing and remaining half of nitrogen is applied as top dressing 45 days after sowing and the soil is raised at the base of the plants. During flowering, the micronutrients like boron in the form of borax at the rate of 2 grams per liter of water is sprayed over the heads thoroughly to increase seed setting and seed weight leading to higher yield. Foundation seed and certified seed production requires female line 3.75 kg per hectare, male line that is our line 1.25 kg per hectare. Seed Treatment In recent days, sunflower mosaic virus, which may occur in any stage of the crop, is causing major threat to the sunflower crop. 
to control the diseases transmitting through seeds. They are treated with thyram or capton at the rate of 2 grams per kg of seed. Sowing Distance and Sowing Method The burrows are made at 60 cm interval and 2 to 3 seeds are sown per hill at a depth not exceeding 1 inch and at a distance of 30 cm interval in each row. 10 to 15 days after seed germination, retaining single healthy plant per hill Extra plants will be removed to maintain required number of plants. The varying sowing interval of male and female lines in seed production plots and flowering days interval of male and female line of hybrids is usual. Sowing male line 7 days before the female line. Sowing male line 8 to 10 days before the female line. Sowing male line 8 to 10 days before the female line. Sowing male line 3 to 5 days before the female line. Sowing female line 3 days before the male line is usually followed. Mainly, two methods are followed in certified seed production. Row ratio method and field isolation method are block method. Field isolation method is the improved model in foundation seed and certified seed production. Here at the two isolated places, female and male lines are sown in 3 is to 2 ratio at different plots where the male line is harvested prior to the female line. Weed management for effective weed management, recommended herbicide at the rate of 4 ml per litre of water is sprayed on wet soil the very next day after sowing. Water management. Irrigation is done depending on soil and weather conditions. Maintaining required soil moisture is very important at the critical crop growth stages such as germination flowering and seed setting. Hand pollination. Sunflower belongs to the cross-pollinated crops. Due to heavy weight of pollen, wind pollination is ineffective. So, hand pollination is a must in seed production plots. Pollens are collected from male line and spread gently over the open flower of the female line using brush or thin soft cloth and this operation should be taken in early morning 8 o'clock till afternoon for 8 to 10 days or till the pollination in female flowers completes. Pollination can be done every alternative day. To check the honeybees carrying pollen, the flower heads are covered with soft cloth bags with good aeration and Pollination can be achieved with more number of female flowers every day. Roguing In foundation seed and certified seed production plots, immediately after the opening of flower bud starts, roguing of unwanted plants and diseased crop plants should be done in the rows of both female and male lines. Harvesting Generally, Within 90 to 100 days, sunflower is harvested. The backside of the flower head turns lemon yellow, that's the perfect index of harvesting of sunflower. Usually, male line is harvested followed by the female line. Seeds are separated, dried, and stored separately. Spreading rather than heaping sunflower heads after harvesting is the best. The seeds should be dried to 8 to 10 percentage of moisture to check the spread of insects, diseases and to achieve good germination percentage. Usually, hybrid seed yield of 3.5 to 4 quintal per acre is obtained. Foundation seed and certified seed production 
is taken by farmers, Karnataka State Department of Agriculture, State Seed Corporation, National Seed Corporation and other government seed production institutes. Both models of seed production are taken under the supervision of seed certification agencies and compulsorily should pass seed certification test. Those lots which are passing through this uh, stringent quality assessment will be subjected for uh, seed treatment and upon the seed treatment with the recommended chemicals and the seeds are packed in the recommended size that is required for each acre and such seeds will be supplied through the Department of Agriculture. Our agency for marketing would be the Karnataka State Seeds Corporation and the seeds will be supplied to the farmers through a subsidized program and this is going to enhance the farmers income by way of increasing the better productivity and the better yields. So farmers are very happy about the university seeds especially with respect to the quality and in terms of realizing the better productivity per acre.